Each step I take, each step I take, each page I turn, each page I turn, each page I turn, I travel, lonely meet the Lord. Hey friends, your buddy Gilbert here, and I'm so excited about today's video. If you're brand new here, my name is Gilbert, and I am a singer-songwriter living in Los Angeles. This is my YouTube channel. I do reaction videos, have a podcast, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. So I hope that you are down to have a good time, have a lot of fun. In celebration of Divas Month, I am bringing you all of the greatest vocal powerhouses that you could ever think of to rock and sing your face off. I am so excited about today's video. I will be reacting to Barbara Streisand, the myth, the creature, creature, the woman, the myth, the legend. I guess she is this creature of extraordinary talent. I do believe that she's in the Guinness Book of World Records as being the most diversely awarded female artist. I don't know about just artists in general, female or male. As far as variety of awards she's won, like Grammys, Oscars, Tonys, Golden Globes, like I, this just goes across the board more than any other actor slash singer crossover artist. She's incredible and I'm so excited to be able to finally share her on my channel because I've been a big fan of Barbara for many, many years. My mom, shout out to my mom, is a huge Barbara Streisand fan and she was the one that actually got me into Barbara Streisand. I remember buying this concert and I've been obsessed with it ever since. And so we are going to watch a medley of Barbara from the movie Yentl that you should also check out on home video. I'm so excited. Let's get started. Okay. She's such a legend. She's another one that is a singer's singer. Let's go, Babs. Well, those are the questions that women have been asking for centuries. And incredibly enough, I think they're still asking them today. And I think that's what attracted me to Yentl and why I felt I had to make the film. Well, Yentl, as some of you probably know, is the story of a, of a girl in Eastern Europe at the turn of the century. When the world of study belonged only to men. But Yentl's father, who recognized her and thirst for knowledge, taught her secretly. Uh, after his death, in order to continue her studies, she had no choice but to go out into the world disguised as a man. Can you find me in the night? Papa, are you near me? Papa, can you hear me? Papa, can you help me not be frightened? Looking at the skies, I seem to see a million eyes. Which ones are here? Such power. Where are you now that yesterday has waved goodbye? And closed its doors The night is so much darker The wind is so much colder The world I see is 
Touches everyone, doesn't it? In some way. To go on with the story, Yentel then meets a, a boy who she falls in love with. But it turns out he's already in love with another girl. But because of circumstances that I can't go into right now, they're prevented from getting married. So, to make a long story short, or a short story long, he asks Yentel, who of course he thinks is a boy, to marry the girl so he can still see her. Not Yentl, the, the other girl. So the girl and the girl get married. If you want to see how Yentl gets away with the wedding night, you have to rent the video. <laughs> but it's just a variation on the, on the boy meets girl meets girl story. Very 90s. Anyway. <laughs> Ow! Um, <laughs> I just came from New York, you know, the gay games and everything. <laughs> <laughs> She's a strong gay following. Anyway, one night he comes over to uh, uh, their house to study, but it's clear that the only thing he wants to study is her. Not Yentl, her wife, her. You get it? His eyes never leave her face. See the way they gaze at her like slaves. They follow everywhere she goes Do my eyes forget themselves And do I ever look at him And smile in such a way That what I'm feeling shows Sometimes I get the feeling Everybody knows And even though it's crazy Still I can't help wondering if I'll ever live to see that day When by some miracle of miracles He'll turn around and look at me That Ready? Here we go. Do it, Barbara. The 
more I realize The less I know Each step I take, each step I take Each page I turn, each page I turn Each page I turn While I travel, only meet the more Incredible. Incredible. Oh, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> I've watched this so many times, if you can't tell. Oh, my gosh. I'm glad you like that. I'm glad you like that. We loved it, Barbara. Okay, is there really much to say after a performance like that? Her commandment of her own voice is like the eighth world wonder. She has such perfect pitch, such resonance and clarity and fullness and richness of tone. Like Cher, there's just a quality about Barbara Streisand's voice that is just so signature and recognizable that nobody else sounds like her. And there's a lot of singers that are like that. That's really, I believe, what makes a superstar a superstar is their voice, the quality, the sound, the tone of their voice and its uniqueness and how their spirit and their soul is woven into that tone. Barbara's a brilliant example of this. No matter what she sings, she's so her and she brings a song to life in a way that only she can. She's just such a treasure. I don't like to spread too much like gossip and tea or whatever. I mean, sometimes I talk about it, but I, I just read recently that she was retiring again. And so it's alleged. You're going to see another video where I talk about that soon, where, you know, I say, oh, she's retired now. But she's retired before. And then later she clarified it was retired from live performing. But then she could still allow herself to be in movies or to record albums. But you hear all these stories. And it'd be great if Barbara was the one saying it herself. And sometimes she does. But another story claims to have quoted her by her saying that singing just wasn't fun for for her anymore and so she is retiring again so to speak i believe it was around early april 5th i think 2021 that i read an article like that whether that's true or not barbara you have absolutely left your legacy for us i do hope that you will keep singing i love you i think she's so quirky i loved her carpool karaoke did you see that it was so much fun she's just so much fun i love barbara streisand she is one of the greatest that have ever stepped up to a microphone to sing i'm just such a big fan i get the goosebumps I get the full body chills and I cry every single time I watch it. It's just absolutely outstanding. If you are brand new to my channel,
channel, please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and drop me a comment. Are you a fan of our featured artists today? I would love to hear all about it. Back to that burning question that we had talked about earlier. I am recently just starting a Patreon, and it's because I really want to continue creating great content like this for you. And if you would consider subscribing to me and partnering with me to help me create great content, I will be so grateful. You get early access to all of my content in real time as I created and uploaded it. You also get behind the scenes stuff, some more intimate access to me, and you get all of the answers to all of the burning questions that you see in every video a year before they even come out on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the honor and privilege of your time. I do not take it for granted. I love you. God bless you. Please stay safe out there, and I will see you in the very next video. Mwah. Bye!